Okay, dobro jutro, my friends. It's my 39th day here. And it is currently 6.30 in the morning. And tonight we have another curfew starting at 5 p.m. until 5 a.m. on Monday. So I'm not going to be able to leave the house. So I thought I'd take another long walk. Uh, it's supposed to be nice out today. Uh, like 70 degrees. It's nice now. But it'll be nicer later. So anyway, I'll show you around. And this is the center. It's my yoga. 630. Sun's peeking over the buildings. Got a lady out there cleaning the gutters. I'm going to have to get some stuff from the store. Oh man, what a day. You know, I looked, uh, finally, I uh, found some other flights leaving Serbia on Air Serbia flight. So, the, the first week of May. So, I've got like maybe two weeks maximum. Uh, before I get to go home and actually make myself useful. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, here we are in the center. It's somewhat lively this morning. Must be a street cleaner coming. Jesus, it's loud. Got a few folks out and about. More than more than normal. I think the old folks are heading home. Uh, most people have their masks. I got mine here in my hand, but I'm not wearing it until I go into the store. Somebody's in the school. You know, the windows are open. Oh, she's cleaning, I guess. Anyway, I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, I think I'm gonna head. Some people were kind enough to send me some different ideas. Uh, this Fisherman's Island. Somebody else sent me to go through Tamarin and down along the river. I think I'm just going to head out toward Futog, the Kupus capital of Serbia. Cabbage capital. <laughs> I'm going to go that way. Maybe just to vet that and then he can back. Uh, Futog's 10 kilometers there and 10 back, so that's a lot. But who knows? I'll figure out what I'm going to do. We'll make it interesting. One thing, man, if somebody asks me the thing I miss the most besides my friends, it's shisha. Uh, nargilla. And there's a new Nargilla bar popping up. There's an old Zastava. Look at that thing. Uh, one thing I miss the most is smoking. I don't smoke cigarettes, never. I think I've smoked four in my life. Hate it. Disgusting. Stinks. But I love shisha. And there's a shisha new one. It says opening in April. Of course, it can't now because of all this, but right there. Right in the center. We'll see how it is. I feel sorry for the people who invested in this big continental building and Hotel uh, Pupin. And the big cafe, Callum and Zot by Zach, down underneath that restaurant because they just built it. Now all this happened. Anyway. Talk to you later. Okay, you want to see what pricing is here in Serbia. 23 square meters, 43,000. 58, 65,000. I mean, if you had a family, these prices are pretty high. For a Serbian family on a regular, the average salary here per month is 400 euros, let's say. 
if you had that, how many years is that going to take you to pay for that? <laughs> you know? My state of Illinois, where my dad used to build, build quite a few homes and fix them up and sell them, you could find a home for easy for that. A big one. 1,200 square, 2,400 square feet in the middle of Illinois. I mean, but it's ghetto. Okay, on my way to Veternik. And it's, the city's actually kind of busy for not even 7 o'clock. Lots of cars, lots of old people. And I think mainly the old people, the piazza uh, opens at 7. So maybe that's where all these people are going because they can shop from 4 to 7. Isn't that what it is? I don't think they pay attention here. Nobody's actually I see old people all the time. Uh, anyway, lots of traffic. You wouldn't know there's too much difference from normal, except most people have this stupid mask on. Okay, just went a different way down Zara Dushina. And look at that house. <laughs> it looks kind of odd. Oh, it's not a house. Telegroup. Looks like a yacht, doesn't it? There, you can see it better from here. In front of it's rounded. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if I want to walk clear to Veteranik. I'm just going down here to like Telep, maybe over to the river. I'm lazy today. That blister on my foot's a problem. All right, my friends, we got a lot more construction. Look what it's going to be here. This is over here by, I don't know, Telep. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know how long it'll take, but they're hard at work on it. Get the big cranes out. Everywhere you go in the city, that's what you see. Now's a good time to buy. Because I doubt many people are. Okay, my friends, this is where I'm heading. Ribarsko Ostrovo. It's right by the river. Hopefully I get some fresh air. Hey, cha cha. Okay, I'm going to Fisherman's Island is where I decided to go. It's only one way in and one way out here. <laughs> when you come down here, you you go through this big military base. I was a little bit nervous. I never, I've been here before. Uh, I went to one of the clubs down in here and uh, I didn't remember the military bases because I've never been here during the day. But you walk through on both sides, it says no surveillance, no filming. This is a big boat, broad something, broad is ship in Serbian. So it's a big boat uh, factory, I guess. Oh, there's a couple dogs. Thank God there's a fence. Uh, what was I saying? Ooh, man, I don't like stray dogs. A lot of these big factories, I think they have these dogs for protection, you know? So gypsies don't get in there and steal stuff. And so they're vicious, man. I mean, the gates are all open now because people are working. Uh, anyway, uh, they, what's weird here in Serbia, you've got the Dunav here, okay, of course, but you have lots of boat uh, uh, companies here. I never would assume they would be on an inland uh, country, like Zrenjan and even. What is that river there, the Bege? Is that the one that goes through there? But they have a couple boat uh, building places in Zrenjan. That seems odd. Anyway, I'll show you more when I get down here. I'm not in the best of moods. I'm not all that pumped up today. I don't know why. But maybe I'll liven up as I get out of here. <laughs> Ski bar crystal. Dva galaba. That's two pigeons or two doves. This is where the blobs are. Aqua Royale. Chori, what's that say? Ch o Chori. Rocher. Nera Zoom. That font's so weird. A cool looking old building, huh? Really peaceful out here. But it's really overgrown. Somebody lives in that or, or what? Lots of birds. I mean, it's, so, it's really, really peaceful. It's beautiful out here today. Here on Fisherman's Island. Baron Castle 
it is that way. I don't want to go to Baron's Castle. I want to see a river view. So I'm heading down this way. Yeah. I got a bunch of shit out here. <laughs> Ain't the most scenic place. Maybe people sleep out here. God, if I know. Get the stuff. Oh, I think I can see Sturm's Accommodates over there. The church. Yep. Okay, we got an old splob that's sinking into the abyss. <laughs> and straight across there is Svrmska Kamenica. That's where I walked the other day. Right across the Freedom Bridge through Svrmska Kamenica Forest. Down that little promenade right to that big church. Got lots of barges going through the Danube here. This isn't the most pretty view. This is a big, massive restaurant. Alaska Barca, uh, I think is what this is called. I'd heard of this before, but I've never, ever eaten here. It's called Alaska Terrassa. Oh, the Alaskan Terrace. It's a big restaurant. Inside there's a big, massive brick area. Big place right out here. It's unfortunate because you cannot walk. I thought just now, hey, I'd walk clear down here to that bridge, but you can't because this is a little island. I don't think there's another bridge. And here we are. There is a view down here along the muddy edge. Really quiet. You can't hear anything except that humming of that barge. No people or anything. Maybe I could check out this old abandoned barge, but there's a house up there. I don't want to get thrown in jail. Got women's panties on the floor. <laughs> Let me tell you what went on in there, huh? I don't want to know. Okay, check this out. How cool is that boat? <laughs> that's wild what do you call those um, oh god I know the word for that but I just can't think of it off the top of my head uh, shit I live on an island with boats eh, I'll think of it in a minute lots of boats through here but it's really run down lots of stuff just falling into the water unfortunately Really overgrown, like I said. Saw a couple old men fishing, and I think some of the folks actually live in these boats, and that would be kind of fun. It'd be a good Airbnb idea, you know? I know they have some in Belgrade, but I don't know about here. I just thought of that. They call that a catamaran, is what that boat is that has the big uh, space on the bottom of it. I don't know how to explain it, but that's called a catamaran. It just, just struck me. Lots of little fishing shacks out through here. Too bad it's, uh, um, too bad every, all the restaurants and stuff are closed. This would be a great place to just have some breakfast or something. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? Ribola Chorba. Here it says Ribla Charda. What's the difference? I don't know. Chorba soup, stew, I mean. How good is my Chirulitsa reading? That says, P.R. King Samo za Goste Restaurana. That means parking just for guests of the restaurant. Ha ha, some pamata. I found a little friend. There is a, what they call in Serbian, a patka. Hey, patka. Cute little patka, huh? Getting closer to Freedom Bridge. I 
there's Aqua Royale. A lot of little spobs out in here. I haven't bumped into anybody. I saw like a car or two go by and one bicycle when I was first entering, but nobody else. It'd be really nice. I mean, if they, I guess it's, tourism is shut down. So, I mean, why should they pick up things like that at this moment, I guess? But they could do really, really nice stuff with this place. Like this wire hanging down, what the hell is that for? A really peaceful, quiet place. I mean, it's beautiful with the sunrises. Too bad I came here a little bit later. Couldn't see the whole sunrise. You know, this little area out here with all these like bar after bar after bar, kind of reminds me of Zimlin. Uh, that's what I loved about living in Zimlin. You had like just non-stop river bar, river restaurant, boats. Just a great place to live. Anyway, my friends, I don't know anything else. There's like a guy over there fixing his car, so I just turned around so I didn't have to speak. I'm feeling antisocial today. Something that pisses me off though is like this. Yeah. Sashto Svima. All over the that side too, you know? Just pisses me off to see people throw trash everywhere. You know, and it's beautiful out here. This is what I meant. They could do so much more. I mean, if they like mowed in between the trees, I mean this could just be absolutely stunning. I wonder if you can purchase land out here. Be a cool place for a little while. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. If you're somebody that has to go to bed at like 10 or 11 at night, you're screwed. It smells nice though. Looks like people are planting. Somebody's planting a lot of new little saplings out in here. I don't know, I'm still gonna get some good exercise. This is like, I looked, I'm already like four miles or eight kilometers. So by the time I get home, it'll be like 16. <laughs> so I've been pretty good the last few days. 16 kilometers roughly, you know, all like every day I'm doing like more, but I can't leave the house tomorrow or Saturday. So only time to do it is now. Okay, my friends, I've made it to Firma, the hood of Fuka Voivodina. I got some cool graffiti out here. Wouldn't that suck if you're not a Fuka Voivodina fan and you live in this apartment building? Here's some more. Isn't that awesome? I like that one over there. Okay, what does this say? Ratko Mladic. <laughs> okay, I made it to Limansky Park and it's closed on this beautiful day. A lot of really, really good uh, exercise equipment out in this one. Unfortunately, can't go in there. Hopefully soon. Okay, my friends, I made it out here too. The big Novi Sad sign. And that is Pramanada Mall. They keep it really nice landscaped out here with all the bushes and uh, even those cool... I uh, love that. Out here at the mall they have all these basketball hoops. Isn't that cool? My boss and my friend owns the loft. It's very right up on top there. Beautiful view. Too bad it's closed. I mean, they put so much money into this mall and all the rent spaces in it. Surely they paused rent or deferred the rent payments, I hope. This lady sleeping out here. And there is, is my team stadium. Kara Georgieva Stadium here. Right off of Slovenia. The Boulevard. Right next to the mall, it's in a great location. I need to get, uh, well, I mean, not now, but as soon as it opens up, I need to get some tickets. I want to check out some games. Okay, check this out. I didn't even intend to go very far today. And I went 11 kilometers, man. Just wandering around the city. <laughs> Jeez. Impressive, huh? 
Okay, I'm back. Left at 6.15. It's 9.15. So I got three hours of constant walking. I never heard of this political party. Serbsky Patriotsky Savas. Serbian Patriotic Party? Man, every every day here in Serbia there's a new political party. Uh, you can see the center a little livelier than normal. And it's just... Uh, Simply gorgeous outside. Not a cloud in the sky. Eh, look at this. I mean, this is pretty empty for night. Night is usually really busy here in a typical Serbian weekday, especially a Friday. I usually look right out my office window and just like packed with people. An old man always playing this little instrument here, a violin sometimes. And just lots of people sitting on the benches, typically. Now there's not, just a few. Anyway, I can't believe I did 12 kilometers again today, you know? Unbelievable. Proud of myself. I seriously didn't expect that. Well, actually, maybe that's kind of a lie. Because I said I was going to go to try to go to Futog or Veternik. But then, at the last minute, I decided not to. So I didn't figure I would even come close to, like, 12 kilometers it's like I got money in those bags. Jeez. Should rob him. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I'm proud of myself. Now I can go home. I got some chicken. I got some uh, svinia. Chunks of pork. Some beans. Some salad. So I think I'll survive. Maybe the last weekend lockdown we're going to have. I know somebody said they might, maybe he's going to be one uh, for Pervi May, which is next Friday, and then Georgiev Don, which is the 6th, but I've, I think we're finished other than that. Ciao. See, there's uh, probably 100 people or so out here. Half with masks, half with not. Mine's on my chin, just like that old lady's right there, because I just left the shop. I brought it with me. I didn't wear it except when I went into the idea 